Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we are going to talk about that how you can pursue your PhD from Indian institutions like IIT and ISC while working in a company. So typically in all the Indian institutions like IITs and ISC, they have um, several categories of PhD. And broadly, you can say there are two categories. Uh, the first one is full-time PhD. And the second one is part-time PhD. Uh, under full-time PhD, there are again many subcategories. For example, if you are an institute fellow, then your scholarship or stipend will be getting from Government of India or MHRD, that is called Ministry of Human Resource Development. On the other hand, you can join as a project PhD also, where your salary or stipend will be coming from the project. So you'll be part of a project. You'll be working for that particular project. Your your whole thesis will be part of that project, and from that project funding, you'll be getting your stipend or scholarship. And there are many other categories also but typically these are called full-time PhD that is the student or the candidate uh, he or she will be staying in the campus and he will be dedicatedly doing his or her PhD under, under supervision of some uh, professor. On the other hand there are some uh, part-time PhD that is also available where you will be working in a company at the same time you will be pursuing your PhD parallelly uh, under supervision of some guy. Now what is the process of you know getting this kind of part-time PhD? The application process, you know, how how typically the interview goes, what is the uh, things that you have to do during your PhD tenure in IIT and IISC. So every detail I am going to discuss in this particular video. So if you are someone who is looking for a part-time PhD, this video is for you. So please don't skip the video and watch till end if you want to know detail about it. But before starting the video, as I always say, if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you have liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button without further delay let's get started into today's video let's first talk about what are the requirements that a candidate must match if he or she is willing to apply in the part-time phd position in different iits and isc the first requirement is that you have to be in a rnd role in some company uh, to get into this kind of part-time role your rnd role is very very important because if you are not a part of rnd role uh, probably you will not be selected for this kind of part-time PhD role. So the number one requirement is that you have to be in a R&D role. The next is related to company. Your company has to be a well-known or well-established uh, company in the industry, which is existing for more than 10 years in the market. And why I'm saying this? Because during your PhD tenure, you'll be working in for that particular company. And your whole semester fees and everything will be kind of indirectly paid by the company because company will give you salary and through that salary you'll be paying the semester fee and there will be agreement between the institution and the company uh, for your uh, you know for your uh, this part-time PhD so the, the institute and company has to be agreed that you will be working for so you will be working for the particular company and also you'll be doing the part-time PhD in some institution. So that's why your company has to be a stable company. So suppose you are working in a startup which has just formed maybe four or five years before and there is no guarantee that whether it will be uh, staying there in the market for next five years. It might happen after two years, uh, a startup may fail, uh, may feel that there is no funding, they might sack you. Then, you know, there is no guarantee of uh, this uh, part-time PhD uh, that you will be continuing. So, because of that, you know, uh, most of the time IITs and ISC in the application, they look for those candidates who are in a R&D role in some reputed product base or some company in the industry. So, these are two requirements that you have to satisfy, that you have to be in an R&D role and second thing is that your company must exist more than 10 years in the industry so that it gives you a stability, gives you a confirmation that you can be part of that company for next five years so that you can parallelly do your part-time PhD in some IITs or ISC. Now, once you have fulfilled this requirement, that is, you are in a R&D role and you're working in a reputed company which is existing for more than 10 years, then the next step would be that you must talk with your manager. So, probably you're working in a project uh, in, in your company, then talk with your manager, let your manager know that you are interested in part-time PhD. Your manager's approval will be very, very important because I think without your manager approval, you will not be able to proceed with your part-time PhD process in any IITs and ISC. And if needed, you can talk with your HR or also, I'll, I'll still say that first talk with your manager and then if uh, your manager says that consult with your HR and then talk with them. But the, uh, the idea is that talk with the, you know, authority of your company and let them know that you are interested in part-time PhD. So that will be the first one. The next step would be that you have to talk with different professors in IITs and ISC. So for example, you're interested of doing part-time PhD from ISC Bangalore. 
then first see whichever professor you are interested in uh, because it might happen that few professors their area of research is kind of aligned with your interest so that's why talk with those professors and try to see uh, whichever professor is interested of taking you as a ERP or part-time PhD candidate why I'm saying this is that not all the professors are willing to take uh, part-time PhD candidate because as you know that you know part-time PhD means you'll be working in a company at the same time you'll be doing PhD so most many many a times I've seen professor thinks that you will not be able to give your 100% being a part-time PhD candidate. So that's why you have to talk a priori with all the professors and see whichever professor is interested to take you as a part-time PhD uh, candidate. So these are the two things that you must do because uh, while your uh, you know application process which I'll be discussing next, these things will be very very important. Next is the application process. So typically like a regular PhD candidate for the part-time PhD candidate also PhD recruitment happens twice in a year. One is during this uh, July session and second one is the winter session or December session. So two times you can apply for a part-time PhD role in any IITs and ISC. Now uh, during application you have to submit few documents. The first one is sponsorship certificate. So this is a certificate that you have to get signed from your company head or company director. And this is kind of a, uh, you know, kind of an agreement that the company will be bearing all of your expenses. That means, suppose your paper got published in some conferences, then, you know, all the money, um, for your traveling cost, staying there in the conference venue, everything will be bared by the company. Institute will not be taking care of it. And also, uh, all the semester fees and everything, company has to pay. Obviously, company will not be directly paying. Company will pay you and you will be paying it for the institution. But this uh, sponsorship certificate is indirectly the company is sponsoring your PhD. It's kind of, uh, you know, the agreement like this. And also, you know, company has to agree that they will not sack you for next five to six years until your PhD is finished. So this kind of agreement will be there. There is a predefined pre form that is already there, I guess, in all the institutions. And you have to get it signed by your organization head or organization director. The next is your profile. Uh, as I said, that you have to be part of a R and D profile in 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 a, in a company. So that profile you have to mention. You have to uh, give a detail of that. Probably your you know job letter maybe or or your recruitment letter something you have to submit. The next is uh, your industry guide CV. Uh, so whenever you will be doing your uh, part-time PhD from any institution, uh, from institution institution end, there will be a supervisor or guide under whom you will be working on. But there will be another guide from the industry end. That means from the company end, there will be another person who will be your industry guide. So most of the time, whichever, uh, whichever project you are working on, and the, uh, the manager of the project um, usually be your industry guide, but you have to select that also. And uh, industry guide CV you have to submit uh, in the application process. Next is research proposal. Now, research proposal means that you have to submit uh, a detail about which are the research direction that you want to explore as a part-time PhD. Now, whether it's important or not, uh, that depends on uh, whether your possible guide is interested in reading the research proposal or not. So, as I said that before this application process, you'll be talking with few professors. Then, you know, ask them whether they are interested to read your research proposal or not. If that particular professor is interested to reading your research proposal, then you have to write it very carefully. You have to write everything that you want to, you are you're looking forward uh, in, your, in your PhD. It, it happens that your, but that particular professor is not that interested, then you can just submit something, you know, you just write something and, and submit it. So based on whether your possible guide is interested in research proposal or not, you have to write your research proposal. And finally, there will be an agreement between your industry guide and the institute guide. Uh, and, and they both have to agree that they will be taking you as a part-time PhD candidate and there will be, I think, signature of both, both the guide. And these are the things that you have to submit uh, with your normal details. Now, once you are applied for the PhD program, the rest all is like the regular PhD fellow. Uh, so typically, you have to go through a written test and the interview. Uh, most of the time for um, this part-time PhD fellow, there is no written test. Uh, they have to go through uh, an interview round. An interview will be as regular as it is. Uh, there will be a panel of, uh, panel of professors. And also, your possible guide also will be there uh, in that panel. And they will ask you a few questions and based on that, 
whether you will be selected or not. Uh, so don't think that you are a part-time candidate means you are you are by default selected. So it might not happen also. You have to go through the regular interview process. Your possible supervisor and some other professor will be interviewing it. And based on your performance, you will be getting selected or not. That will be decided. Now, once you got selected, the the again, you know, the first six or uh, ten months is uh, as as like other regular fellows. You have to do the coursework. Uh, I have heard that in ISC Bangalore, it is uh, three courses that you have to do. In IIT Kharagpur, we typically have to do four courses for regular PhD candidate and also for the part time PhD candidate. And once your coursework will be done, uh, then based on your supervisor requirement, you will be going through. A comprehensive exam and after comprehensive exam you will be registered for the PhD. Now you might ask me that how we can balance my, my job in the company at the same time my PhD and how I can uh, you know pursue my research work. Uh, I can share you a few, uh, few examples I have seen in IIT, IIT, ISC Bangalore and IIT Kharagpur. So what typically people do is that they take six months of leave, they complete their coursework and then they join the company. And then, then, they, then they keep on working in the company and they talk with their supervisor and they try to uh, set up a system where they will be working with some M.Tech student or B.Tech student uh, which is available. So being a PhD fellow, you will just formulate the problem and you will give it to the M.Tech and PhD student or M.Tech or B.Tech student. The M.Tech and B.Tech student will be doing all the coding stuff. I am talking about the computer science perspective that B.Tech and M.Tech students will be doing all the coding stuff. They will be generating all the results and then again you will be writing up the paper. So it's a teamwork kind of thing that there are few MTech and BTech students will be working on you. They will be doing the implementation part or the coding part. You will be formulating the problem, formulating the idea and then you will be writing up the paper. So this is how typically I have seen uh, the ERP candidates and part-time candidates, they, they do research because it's not possible for them uh, to, you know, involve in everything in the research because they have a nine hours of job that they have to do after six months uh, of their first six months of their PhD. So this is how they typically do. And you know, whenever you're talking with your super, uh, with your with the possible guide before the application process, uh, if that particular professor is interested, then you know discuss these things with uh, with him or her, and you know ask their uh, advice that if I join with you, how I'll be I'll be working, how, what is their ex expectation, and most of the time I have seen that they will they will let you work in this fashion that you just work on the problem formulation and paper writing, the implementation part will be done by uh, some M Tech student and some B Tech student. So yeah, that's it guys. That's it about the video. I hope this video will be helpful for all the students who are looking for an answer that whether they can pursue their PhD from IIT and ISC while working in a job because I know when you are working in a job uh, and you are interested in doing PhD, you are always in a dilemma that whether you should leave your job and continue a PhD or whether you should uh, you know, take your job in hand and pursue PhD parallelly. So I hope you get an answer of this particular question. But still, if you have any question or query, let me know in the comment section. I will try to answer them. And if you are new to this particular channel, again, I am saying, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon and, and like this video and share with other people so, they, so that they also get to know about it. That's it about this video. I will meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.